Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Madame Catherine Scott and welcome back to my channel Booty for Booty where I talk about whatever you want to because I can and today I thought because it's still spooky season that I will still talk about some true crime and this time it's again a female so it's the second female who got hanged in Vienna after Theresia Kandl I already talked about her and in that video I made a mistake because I have not mentioned that you can see her whole skeleton in the museum so you can stand next to it and see how small she was and also this lady um, who I talk about today you can find her in this museum her skull because back then they looked at her skull to find out why she was the way she was and today's lady is uh, Juliana Hummel and she had a criminal record for child abuse and she and her husband got arrested for killing their child Anna Hummel and she was only five years old and they the body of the child was in a really bad shape she was underweight she had bad infection she, she had phlegma that is an infection of her whole head she had sepsis and Juliana always said that she's innocent and yeah and Franz Josef wanted to pardon her because I think I mentioned that, that in K and K monarchy, in the double crown monarchy, Hungary, Austria, they normally pardoned females because they thought that they can't take the death penalty. And so most of the females got pardoned. So Theresia Kandl and for 90 years nobody and then there was Julia. There was a case in Klagenfurt, not in Vienna, where a, a woman got executed in 1866 for poisoning her aunt. But that was not in Vienna, so yeah. Franz Josef wanted to pardon her, but the public was really against it in the newspapers because how the child was killed and how the child's body looked like, they were really against pardoning her. So he only pardoned her husband and she actually got executed. Uh, but she always said she, till the end that she was innocent. And there was a problem with hanging her because um, the hangman before that, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, my nose. Um, the hangman before that, Carl, he died in 1899, and she, she want she was execute. She they wanted to execute her on the second January of 1900. So, and they had not found anybody who they could could take his job. So they brought in a hangman from Prague, Wolschläger. Uh, I'm sorry. Vorschläge, and he had his own method of killing people. The problem was that the method in Prague, so, so the, the whole procedure in Prague was different. In Vienna they used a, a Würgegalgen and his new method that he invented was not suitable for the Würgegalgen. It's a choking galleon. It's a, you can imagine a big wooden um, pillar and on it there is a hook and you, you hang the person with this hook. And the method he used, I could not really find out what special method it was. I know he invented a lot of a lot of hangmen invented or had their own methods of killing people, and his method was not really suitable for this um, for this Virgil Garden. But he nevertheless wanted to hang her like this. And the other thing is that he was. It's sad that he was very nervous and he was trembling up there, and he, yeah. He was shivering because it said that it she was his first female to kill um, and he was very nervous so these two things combined made a big problem with her execution it took a very long time till she died she fought for her death up there for 45 minutes and it took a really long time and after she died um, they brought her to the doctors and they examined her head to find out how or why she happened that happened and this skull you can find this days in in Vienna Criminal Museum and that's it that's the short story of uh, another murderous female in Vienna the second one who got hanged and I have nothing more to say I wish you a great day a wonderful week and everything good bye